Hey, it's Matt here at Custom Page, and today I'm going to show you how to use our free design apps. These are all 100% free design apps. Uh, they're going to use the template here, a Purple Nebula. You can click on it right there to download that template uh, on your own or to find this page. But uh, this is the page we're going to start on. Uh, you won't need anything other than this page and your computer to do this. I uh, don't know if this is going to work on mobile, but uh, you should be able to do this fine on any PC or Mac. Okay, so uh, once you're there, go to the bottom of the page to the actions for the Nebula Art template and click on Open an Express Editor. This will be available to all members. You might have to sign up. It's free. Just go ahead and sign up and then come back to the page and open an Express Editor. Okay, I only have five minutes, so I'm going to go really fast on these and I'm going to go through each one of these effects across the bottom to show you what you can do to customize your template. Okay, first we're going to use the adjustment layer. Uh, there's lots of effects there. I'm going to change the color. Um, Select color, uh, you can adjust the hue here. I want kind of an orange color, so go there. I want a little more saturation, so I'm gonna bump that up, and it's a little bright. I'm gonna bump down lightness a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna apply that. So you can see we can change the color. You can use it in color you want. Um, and lots of other effects there. You can play around with those. Uh, I wouldn't crop or resize because you'll mess up the dimensions for the YouTube upload. Okay, so now uh, I'm gonna show you some various effects. There's vintage effects, uh, different kinds to make it look older, <clears throat> subtle glows, uh, some creative effects. I uh, don't use these very often, but there are some good options here if you just want to break up the design and do something different. Uh, you can scroll through to see the different things available to you. Uh, I'm not going to use one of these for this design here, but just wanted to show you that that's available. Uh, you have overlays. Overlays are different kinds of uh, textures and patterns that you can use to overlay different types of looks uh, across the image. Uh, they don't necessarily erase what's underneath them, they just kind of work in there with them. Um, I'm going to use uh, that one right there. Um, and uh, we're going to move on now to borders. Uh, there's various different kinds of borders. Uh, a lot of these get lost because on the outside edge of the YouTube channel you won't see them. You're only going to see on most YouTube channels the center strip here, the main banner area. Otherwise uh, only on TVs do you see this outer area. So a lot of these borders get lost on a YouTube design, but uh, they can be kind of interesting to spice up the outside. And um, if you want some decorations for the TV channels, because some TV people will be watching your channel on a TV and they'll have something nice there. So uh, we're just going to use that little effect there for a film edge border. And I move on down the line. Uh, the stickers are different little uh, pre-designed graphics that you can apply to your to your uh, layout. So I'm just going to use this little uh, grunge looking um, effect here. You can rotate. If you use the top handle here, you can rotate uh, images <coughs> and graphics and text. So I just want to put that in the corner there just for a little uh, just for a little dormant. That's a little small I'm gonna bump it up a little bit there like that okay so um, I'm gonna apply that change there and move on down the line to text now text is obviously one of the most powerful things you can do in the editor here uh, most people will want to personalize their their layout I'm going to personalize this for Rough House Studios this is a, a sister company that I know of that I want to put in here and I'm just going to keep it real simple with that I'm going to make it nice and big and I'm going to put this in the center where the YouTube channel um, will be displayed on all devices. So if you keep it in the center, both uh, horizontally this way and vertically this way, inside of this band here, you're going to be able to see it on all channels. So I'm going to put that there. And then this next thing I'm going to show you is probably the best function for this because this is how you can add your own images. So if we're going to go back to the front one here to adjustments to do this, and what you're going to do is click Add Image. It's going to open your browser up and it'll allow you to pull in an image from your computer to use inside of your design. So this is something that uh, most people are going to want to use uh, to add logos, photographs, and to really be able to personalize their layout. Okay, you can also adjust uh, the uh, opacity of what you're adding if you want to get a little different effect there. So, okay, um, not the most beautiful design, I admit, I just wanted to show you all the different effects that are available and how much you can actually customize these layouts for completely free. Save your design, uh, rename it if you like, um, and this is going to bring you back to the uh, page on custompage.com where you will be able to download it or save it in your members gallery. Again, this is another free option that you'll have. Uh, all members of custompage.com will be able to download and uh, be able to save in their template gallery. If you click Save in Template Gallery, 
It's going to take you to your gallery. This has been a tutorial on how to customize your free YouTube channel art from custompage.com. Please check out custompage.com for tons of free YouTube channel art templates. This is Matt. Thanks for watching the tutorial and have a great day.